You want to know what I really am? Yes, sir. Shall I tell you? Please, please. <laughs> At heart, I'm an ardent student of human nature. Fascinating paradox we are. So wise, and yet so foolish, so brave, and yet so fearful. But if you don't do what I ask, you'll wish there was one. Why are you doing this to me? Don't fret so. You're part of a great endeavor, a great cleansing. Monsters are coming, Mr. Mayor. Monsters who will cleanse this city in blood and fire. Welcome, everyone. My name is Theo Galvin. This is my sister, Tabitha. I understand you're feeling confused, scared, a little groggy, but please relax. Today is the first day of a wonderful future for all of you. If you want it. How are you? Gotham would tremble before you. Well, that sounds fabulous, but I am not a brilliant outlaw. I just have. Hmm. Issues. You have ferocity and beauty and desire, and that's enough. Come with me, Barbara. Whatever you want in the world, it's yours. Fair play. You want a reward for busting us out of Arkham. I am grateful. How's a million bucks sound? Pretty good, huh? I can get it for you today. As soon as I hit the street. Money's not the concern. I had such high hopes for you. And in anticipate sexual jealousy, that always poisons the well. You have to go. Tabitha will see you out. Fine job yesterday, gentlemen. We opened big. The whole city knows your name now. So bravo, let's give ourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Now that we have Gotham's attention, it's time for the maniacs to make a grand entrance. Wasn't that it? That was the overture. Now the audience. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad. Sinister and authoritative. Never mind. Jerome. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Very good. Boyishly charming. <laughs> <laughs> the laugh is fabulous. I've said enough. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Not what we rehearsed. I'm so sorry, Jerome. Uh, you have real talent, but now you see the plot thickens. Enter the hero. You are a clever man. Perfect timing here. Do you two know each other? We've met. Oh my. The Arkham Breakout. GCPD Massacre, Jerome and the Maniac. All you. <laughs> of course. Guilty. That was foolish of me to think I could trick the King of Gotham. My sister is too blunt. But she is honest. The foundations of this great city were laid 200 years ago by some very dedicated people. Now it's an old crumbling pigsty full of human waste. It's time to move into the future. Cleaner, brighter. Future. Flattered. Thank you so much for thinking of me. But, my dear sir, you have me all wrong. I have no flair for destruction. I'm a builder, a problem solver. Besides, such a huge project would need the support of hundreds of city officials. 
Yes, only the highest authority could see it through correctly. Say, a mayor with a landslide mandate. But you're not a candidate. Oh, I will be. By popular demand. Mm, she's being kind of dull right now, but sometimes she cries and bangs on the door. Mother. You'll pay for this. <laughs> That's the spirit. They die. Your mother lives. Simple. <clears throat> Mr. Gallivan! Uh, please, Theo. <laughs> Theo, for Pete's sake, why aren't you running for mayor? guys want to stop me running well then I guess I got no choice I will run for mayor yes. I don't know how bad it's gonna get but if you can give me a word we won't have to face it alone you'll have my endorsement I promise you, you'll have whatever you need. Mr. Gallivan, let me show you what I can do. Well, I'd like to help you out, Butch. But I already have several capable two-handed thugs in my employ. They don't know Gotham like I do. I got brains. You ask anyone. What do you think, ladies? I think he's cute, like a sad bear. I suppose he's telling the truth. The little man was cracking up last time I saw him. Well, that settles it. Welcome aboard, Butch. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, 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 bravo, Congressman. Well saved. You really are quite spry for a big man. Have you reconsidered your position? Can I count on your support this election? Yes, yes, you have my full support. Thank you so much. I just wanted to check in, see how things were going. Any complaints? No, no sir, I'm fine like a bottle of wine. <laughs> Good. You gotta have a real future here. You are a hard worker. And you're loyal to a fault. Thank you, boss. If only you were loyal to me. In all things. Penguin's done a number on you, huh? Tinkered with your wiring. Perhaps we can help. Tabby? Tabby, could you come here, please? Penguin has brainwashed this poor soul. Can we help? Be my pleasure. And there I was thinking you understood the meaning of consequences. Consequences, yes. I assure you that my understanding of consequences will be made quite clear once my mother is outside. But we've had so much fun together. My sister gets attached to her plaything, so I must insist she stay. And those bolt cutters are useless. The only way out of there is with this. Tabby is well-versed in the protocols of conditioning. There's always a trigger word implanted during the process. All I had to do was get Butch to remember what it is. I'll admit it took a few tries. And now, here we are. Please. I can still be valuable. You'll see. I so wish that were true. Doesn't look like begging to me. Indeed, half-hearted at best. Please. I'll do anything. Perhaps she has served a purpose. Mm. Don't pout, you still have the former mayor. He's so dull, he just moans all the time.
You come from a long line of cowards. <sighs> fine, fine. Any last words? Yes. I'm going to kill you. You would if you knew what kind of man you were protecting. Shoot him, detective. Oswald, listen to me. You have to put the gun down. He killed my mother, Jim. I know. Detective Gordon, I am ordering you to put that man down now. He had her murdered in front of me. I held her. Watch her die. I had high hopes for you. I thought you were prepared to make the hard choices, to do whatever it takes to rid Gotham of its monsters. I am. I've just decided I'm gonna start with you. Dangerous words when addressing a man who now controls this city. Alfred! Get Bruce away from him now. Detective Gordon. You're under arrest. <sighs> Surprised to see me. May I ask what the charge is? The kidnapping and torture of Aubrey James. Cuff him. Get him out of here. Where? Theo Galavan did not kidnap me. Your Honor, the witness is suffering. Please explain yourself, sir. Why did you lie? Who held you captive? Oswald Cobblepot, the penguin. He hates Theo Galavan. He tried to kill him multiple times. He told me what to say. He threatened me with terrible things. He's lying! I'd just like to state that I harbor no ill will toward Detective Gordon and the GCPD. They did their jobs. They're still my heroes. What do you say, Detective Gordon? Can we move forward together to fix this broken, beautiful city? For centuries, the Order of St. Dumas has protected my family. They have been a light in a dark world. Shall I tell you a secret? Theo Gallivan is a mask. My name is Dumas, and my family built this city out of nothing. But we were betrayed, driven out, erased. <laughs> I can see why you'd think so. Ritual blood sacrifices, a bunch of guys in robes, <laughs> Chanting prophecies, it, it's a bit too. But belief itself, that's what matters, Detective. Belief gives strength and purpose. And not all the victims are random. Son of Gotham. Goodbye, James. <laughs> Kill him. Don't make it quick. Silver isn't coming. I just wanted to take a moment, sweetheart, to express my deep disappointment in you. Theo, leave her be. Silence! Principal, who believe in the system. This time you'll get the chair. You 
You want to make a bet? <laughs> Maybe you're right. Steady now, Jim. I was just talking big. As they say, uh, you got me fair and square. I had you that way the last time. You turned it around. Forget revenge. Think of the greater good. Think of Gotham. He has the courts in his pocket and billions of dollars at his command. Are you 100% sure that he won't beat this and walk free again? Are you sure, Jim? Think of Gotham. Captain, Bravo team in the vicinity of the penthouse. But think fast. You're a man of conscience, Jim. You regret this. I have many regrets. This won't be top of the list. Here we are. Kill me, please. No! That's enough. <laughs> It's coming from downstairs. Patient 44. But the reanimation should take another 12 hours. Oh, I see. A saint will deliver us. No, don't leave. Don't leave. Should I gas him? As who I am? Forsaken me? Have you forgotten the code? Who are you? Forth from the cold grasp of death shall rise again and serve my order. I say this and it becomes, and I will give him the name of Hasrael. Yes! I. I'm Israel. <laughs> My Lord Dumas, <laughs> command me. Fearing the knights had become soft and weak from lack of leadership, Lord Dumas split from the mother and formed a new faction. He named this new sect after himself, calling it the Order of Saint Dumas. Okay. Impressive. Yes. His psyche couldn't reconcile death and rebirth until we gave it a grander context. Okay. Our creations need new personas to equal and embody what they've become, to give their minds focus. Perhaps this was Mr. Gallivan's destiny all along. How do you even know if the persona will hold? There's only one way to find out. We send our beautiful monster out in the wild with a simple task to perform. He's going to need something to wear. <laughs> You're the mayor. What is this place? What's going on? That is a demon. What's going on in here? 
He lives in fire. Get out of here. That piece will give you everything you need to destroy him. Get out of here! Let me out of here! Let me out! I want to get out of here! Not exactly what I had in mind, but good enough. Try it. What must I do? <clears throat> A murderer walks the streets of this city a free man. For his sin, by your blade, he must be destroyed. Tell me his name. James Gordon. My lord, I am the angel of death. James Gordon dies. James Gordon, the time for your penance has come. You know this guy? Who are you? I am Azrael, righteous scourge of sins. And I have come to kill you, James Gordon. Put down that weapon. Put the weapon down. Put it down right now or I'll shoot. Not anymore. Did you break the lock? Hey, you! This is God's house, a place of worship, not a homeless shelter. Get out before I call the cops! I need a weapon to fulfill my holy quest. I don't have any weapons. Oh. Then what good are you? I will take that. It's me, brother. Don't you recognize me? My quarrel is not with you. Step aside. Tabitha. Your sister. I have what you're looking for. Before the monks took you. Our dogs, the horses. We were happy once. You are Theo Galavan, my brother. Yes. 
to the son of Gotham. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Traitor. Alfred! Alfred! Take one more step, mate. I will put a bullet right between your bloody eyes. You think that'll stop me, manservant? I'd like to give it a go if you don't mind. You think I am flesh and blood? I am immortal, and I have grown tired of you! <laughs> Family with no beliefs, no honor, no respect. You're your father's only son, Bruce. When I kill you, I eradicate the Wayne name forever. Unexpected. You okay? Sorry I couldn't get her sooner. Seems like I missed all the fun. Where have you been? I slowed him down for you, didn't I? I'll call Bullock. My last one got stuck in your throat, so... I'm thinking about shoving this one somewhere else. Jim, a little tip for next time. Always bring the right tools for the job. See you in hell, Theo. <laughs>